Hello and welcome, it's Bill Sklodowski and it's time for another edition of iPhone Friday. Every Friday a new video to help folks of my age bracket <laughs> use their iPhones or iPads and make their high-tech life easier. Thanks for joining me. Uh, by the way, if you know anybody that this could help, please feel free to spread it around. Um, I know I've contacted a few groups out there, you know, for seniors and others who could maybe use this and so we're trying to get the word out there about the videos but if you know of anybody that could benefit from this please let them know uh, that every friday we do a brand new video about how to use your iphone or ipad and make your high-tech life easy and as we mentioned last week if you have questions feel free to send those as well and in fact today's video is going to be based on a question that i received uh as a facebook question uh, when i posted the video uh earlier this week so there you go so speaking of which, the question was this, why am I getting all these pop-up messages that are kind of just interrupting me with random tidbits of information? Sometimes the weather or even stock market stuff or news or all kinds of crazy things. And the good news is that there's one way to uh, manage all of that. And that's what we'll be talking about today. And it's called your iPhone or iPad notifications notifications is the fancy word so um once we learn to manage those and it's all in the same place then you can decide who gets your attention and who doesn't so let's uh, jump over to the phone here shall we uh yes it's the same old iphone 8 i haven't upgraded yet i'm upgrading to a new ipad but iphone same so it doesn't matter it's the same software that runs on all of your iphones as long as they're up to date and well, we'll talk about updating phones sometimes, won't we? So let's talk about notifications for today, though. Like if you're getting things that just pop up on screen randomly to tell you stuff, those are all called notifications. And the way you find them is in settings, which is that gear icon. We talk about it a lot. And uh, if you've watched any of the older videos, uh, the, the previous set that I did a year ago or so, tons and tons of things in settings so let's dig into that so i'm just going to tap on settings there and we're going to jump into settings now if you're not at the main screen like i was there you can always just get back to the main screen by hitting the little back button in the top like up at the top there but for now let's just assume we're on settings and we know that because it says settings up at the top you can scroll up to the top and make sure that you've got that and right there on that first page look it's right there with the red little bell i just moved it to where it says notifications okay that's what we're looking for so just tap on that and it will take you to all the different notifications that are on your phone for all the different apps now when you install apps very often they will ask you hey can we send you notifications and most people well i don't know most lots of people just don't pay any attention to that and they just kind of you know go on through and keep pushing okay 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 until all of the uh, app is installed and set up and ready to go so you may have inadvertently turned on some notifications that you don't care to see all right so down at the bottom here where it says notification style you see that all of the apps that you have installed on your phone or ipad it's the exact same process are going to be listed here in alphabetical order so i've got everything from facetime to google to instagram to music and news and podcasts and you know by banks they're all in here okay they're all in there and as you'll look at them you'll notice that each one let's look at for example uh oh i don't know let's go down to calendar there now look underneath where it says calendar or calendars five i have two different calendar apps they say off if it says off that means the app is not going to notify you of anything it's never going to bother you okay but on the other hand you know my friends at domino's there who get my attention a lot <laughs> that shows that it's allowed to send me either a banner notification or a badge more on badges in a moment and then for example then there's google keep down here which is a little note-taking app it's allowed to do banners and sounds and badges as well. So there's several different things that an app can do to get your attention, okay? The banners, the sounds, the badges, those are just a couple of them. Let's tap on that Google Keep and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So under Google Keep, for starters, the main big 
on off switch is that very top one that says allow notifications. Okay. So if you don't want to hear from Google keep, if it's bothering you with information that you don't really care to know, all you need to do really is just turn that switch. And all you have to do is tap on it, the green area there, and it turns it off and see when it goes off, everything else goes away. So there's no other decisions to make. Okay. If you turn it back on, you do have some decisions that you can make about how and when the app will get your attention for, you know, when it has information to give you. Okay. So for first, the first one is how the alerts are going to appear. And that's the three things you see there where it says lock screen notification center and banners. Okay. Those are the three styles of pop-up of visual notification that the app can send you. Okay. So if you have it on the lock screen, that means even if your phone is locked, it's still going to show a banner there on that lock screen. Okay. That's kind of obvious. The notification center. Well, that's that big long list of notifications that you'll get. I'll show you that in a moment. And then the other one banners of course is exactly what it says. The banner that shows up on your phone, no matter whether it's locked or unlocked, if you're using another app, it doesn't matter. That banner is going to show up no matter what you're doing on your phone. Okay. And you get to turn those on or off individually. You can, I'm just tapping on the little blue check mark on the bottom, right? And it will turn each one on or off. So if you don't want to be bothered when you're using your phone, you can turn off banners. Okay. If you don't want to be bothered when the phone is locked, you can turn off the lock screen. Okay. So whatever your choice there. Underneath that, the banner style. Now remember that last one, that third one is banners. Those are going to pop up no matter what you're doing on your phone, right? Even if you're using another app, they're still going to pop up when the app has something to tell you, right? Now, you do get the choice of if you still leave it on, do I want it temporary or persistent? What does that mean? Temporary means it's temporary. It's just going to pop up for five seconds or so, and then it's going to go away, okay? Persistent, on the other hand, is going to stay in your face until you do something with it. So if you have, oh, I don't know, a very important appointment or something that you have on your, on your calendar, okay, or if, you know, your calendar needs to remind you of important things or you're expecting a, a phone message for somebody, whatever, you could leave it on persistent and it's going to stay on the screen until you actually tap on it and respond to it and do something with it, okay? That doesn't mean if it's a phone call reminder, that doesn't mean you have to actually call the person. You just have to respond to the reminder. Yes, I saw you. You can, okay, turn it off now, whatever, okay? So you can change that from temporary to persistent just by tapping temporary or persistent, okay? So that's what that means. And then underneath that, you have sounds and badges. And it's pretty much, if you have sounds turned on or turned off, the app is going to make a sound, whatever it happens to use, whatever ding or bell or buzzle, buzzle, buzzle or whistle, buzz or whistle that it makes to get your attention. And a badge, let's see if I have any badges on my, oh, there's one. Look at Messenger down there. That's Facebook Messenger, right? See the little red number one up in the upper right corner of the app? That's a badge. That's telling you that I have, that's telling me that I have one unread message or note or whatever on Facebook Messenger. Oh, and down below at the very bottom in the lower left, that's actually my email app down there. I use a different one than the regular Apple, you know, iOS email, but it shows on number nine in the corner. You see that? That means I have nine unread messages, email messages. Okay. Those are badges. And does it matter whether, you know, the app has a badge or not? Eh, sometimes it's important. Sometimes not. I do want to see if I've missed a phone call or something like that. Email, not so important. I'm going to check on it when I want. I just happen to have that turned on. But some things are more important than others. Like if I missed a text message or a phone call, I might want to see that badge to see that I missed one or three or four or five or whatever. So you can turn badges on or off. Okay. So there you go. Some other stuff on the bottom with previews and notification grouping, not so important. But remember, here is the important thing. Scroll up to the top. If that app is bothering you with information that you just don't care about, you don't need to see it at all, just turn it all off. Just hit that where it says allow notifications, just turn it off, okay? And now when you come back, this is Google Keep we've been playing with, see underneath Google Keep it says off. So what I would suggest you do is just go to settings and notifications, remember like we said, under settings, that's that red 
notifications there where, with the little bell and just scroll through the list of all your apps and look, okay, I've got uh, uh, Amazon Alexa's turned on. She'll talk now, wait. Oh, no, she didn't say anything. I've got her turned on. If I don't want to need to hear anything, I can turn it off. All right, if I want, uh, let's see, calendars on or off. There's my bank, Capital One. All right, if I eh, turn it off. You can go through this whole big long list and find things that are notifying you and just turn them off. Just go in and turn off the whole thing. Let's go back to keep. Remember that allow notifications up at the top turns off everything. If you turn it back on, okay, now I have other decisions to make. Do, you know, do I want a certain kind of a banner, a pop-up? Do I want a sound? Do I want a badge? Do I want a... But if it's turned off, it's turned off and it doesn't matter. It's not going to make any different notification at all. Okay. Now, before we quit for the day, uh, I also have the Google search widget turned on on my phone. And last week's video was all about widgets. So if you need to learn about widgets, please go and check that out. Um, but Google also sends notifications and it, they are under notifications, by the way, I should, if we go back here and we go back into notifications, there's see Google has banners turned on. But Google also does things its own way. So if I go in, let's go back to Google over here, right? And I go into Google and I've got it up and running, all right? If you go into it under, it has its, I should say, Google has its own settings with different notifications that it can give you, okay? So if I open Google, let's tell Siri here, open Google. Just make it easy on ourselves, you know, let's let Siri do it for you. Okay, there's the Google app that I can do a regular search just like I was on the Google web page. Up in the upper right corner, there is my a very, very, very small picture of me. If you haven't put a picture in it, it might just be a gray silhouette or whatever. But if you tap on that, at the very bottom here, look, it says, see down at the bottom, settings. All right, so if I go to settings, guess what? It also has its own notifications in there. So if I tap on notifications, look, these are all turned on and I could probably do without weather or sports or stories of my interest or finance or anything or flight updates. I haven't taken an airplane in a year or three. But anyway, those are different separate updates that are only within the Google app. So again, if you have the Google app on your phone and lots of people do to use it for searching, okay, Remember that Google has its own settings within the app. And the way you get to them is by tapping on your picture up there in the upper right corner and then going to settings and then going to notifications. Okay. And there they all are. So there you go. All right. So I hope that made sense. If uh, you have questions, of course, or if I've raised more questions than answers, uh, feel free to drop a comment uh, below the video here. I'm posting it on Facebook and I'm also starting to put them on YouTube and other places. So uh, wherever you happen to see it, if you have a question or comment or a suggestion for next week's video, go ahead and feel free to post that and uh, I will look for them. And I answer all the comments and questions. We're not so busy that we can't give individual attention to people. So thank you for watching. Again, if you have questions or comments, leave them below and I will get back to you that way. And uh, tune in again next week for our next edition of iPhone Friday. Thanks again. See you then. Bye-bye.